Have you ever been in the incredibly frustrating scenario that you're inside the terminal and you need to use a command that you use on a semi-regular basis and you've completely forgotten how to trigger the command in the way that you want to? If this sounds like you and if this sounds like a situation that happens to you all the time then please do not worry because it also happens to me pretty much every single day. And often your only options will be opening up the man page for that command, which is great because it'll give you all of the information, but you need to trawl through it to find the bit that's relevant to you. Or alternatively, you can Google it. However, in this video, I want to show you an incredibly powerful command line utility that will help you negate this entire situation. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I want to talk about TLDR. Let's do this. Hi there folks, my name is Ben and welcome back to the channel. As usual, if you enjoy what I do on this channel, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So very quickly, before we talk about the TLDR utility, let's just talk about man. Of course, when I say man, I'm talking about the manual pages for commands. If not all, then most of the programs that you install on your machine should come with man pages. These manual pages will explain fully about the command, what it does, and how to use it. And on some man pages, it even gives you example usages of the commands. Let me just show you really quickly how to read a program's man page. The example command that we're going to be using is grep, the um, string searching utility. So to read the manual page for the grep command, I would simply use the man command. There is a command called man and that lets you read manual pages. So the man command and then space and you give it the commands that you want to learn about the command that you want to read the manual page of. So man, space, and then grep. This command, when I hit enter, will open the manual page for grep. So I've hit enter, and you can see it's a bunch of information on the screen right now. The man command actually opens the manual page into something called a pager. Don't worry if you're getting confused. Basically, a pager is an interactive um, screen mover, I, I should say, like it's loaded the entire file and I can sort of page up and down that entire file, okay? I can use arrow keys up and down, I can use the Vim keys, J and K and so on, and I can sort of scroll up and down. It's loaded into a pager. Just very quickly, to get out of that pager, you just hit Q for quit. So I'm actually going to jump right back into the, the man page here for grep. So you can see immediately the man page is separated into different um, sort of subsections. And this video isn't to talk about man pages and learn about them. I'll put some resources in the description down below if you're interested on learning more about man pages. But what I will show you is that you can scroll down. Uh, you can see the description of the command, so what it actually does, what that command attempts to achieve. And if you go a bit further down, you can start to see the dash and letter, the, the options, the, the parameters that you can give it to trigger certain behaviors for the command. So um, I can just keep going down. For example, dash I here um, ignores the case. When you're performing the string search, it'll ignore cases, okay, capital letters and so on. And you can find out information about the command that you need to use there. And often this is really great. And as I said, sometimes there's examples of the command in the bottom of the file, but I've found that that's not the case in every single man file. Just as an interesting addition, of course, you can use the man command and give it the man command. So you're reading the manual page for the man command. So man, man, hit enter, and it will of course explain to you the man command. Nice. So it's important to say that man pages, of course, are the source of truth for that command on your machine. It's important to note that when you install that program on your machine, it also should at the same time install the manual page onto your machine so that the man command works with that command. However, as you've just seen, there's a lot of information and you sort of have to trawl through to find what you're after. In fact, let me very quickly just show you how you might search through a man page to find something within a man page. So if I just open uh, grep's man page again and I wanted to search for that case insensitive thing that we just saw before, what I can do is just do a forward slash and that puts me into search mode. Like in Vim, a forward slash puts you into search mode. And then I can search for certain terms. So if I just search for case and hit enter, you can see the pager has popped me immediately to find my first search result at the top of the screen. So you can see right at the top of the screen that dash i parameter uh, that says ignore case. It found that case word and it's put it at the top of the screen, the first search. And of course, I can use n to skip to the next occurrence of it 
n and so on. But what about if you can't find the term that you're searching for, perhaps you're searching for the wrong term, or if you just need a quicker, um, nicer visualization of the command in question, and some really common case examples of how to use it, sort of frequently usages of these commands. Well, that's where the focus of our video, TLDR, too long didn't read, comes into play. If I just show you on GitHub really quickly, this is the uh, main GitHub repository for the TLDR project, if you like. So as I said, this is the GitHub repository for the project as a whole, but um, there's actually many, many different clients that you can have installed locally on your machine that sort of call and query to this TLDR pages sort of service, if you like. Here on the screen is just a very quick um, list of some of the clients and in fact on their main website uh, tldr.sh uh, it gives you a little bit more information and tells you about some of the clients that already exist out there for the TLDR sort of client on your machine. But the client I use isn't actually on that list and it's uh, this one here by Ray Lee um, that is a POSIX compliant, a, a POSIX shell compliant uh, script for TLDR. So just a another variant of the client. The most mature and possibly well-known client is the Node uh, version of TLDR, which of course you can install on your machine by using NPM, the Node Package Manager, and installing it globally. Dash G is globally, so everywhere on your machine, and then the name of the package. So once you've installed your TLDR client, this is how you'd use it. Like the man command, where you give it the command that you're interested in learning more about as a second part, it's the same for TLDR, but you call TLDR space and then the command you're interested in. And once I hit enter, look what happens. It has given me several um, incredibly easy to read examples on how to use the grep command in different situations. So as a quick example, um, you see this grep dash I here, that was the one that we were talking about before, which is the, the case insensitive um, searching version of grep. And it even gives you a bit of a description. Search in case insensitive mode in grep. And it gives you an example of how to trigger that command. So grep dash I, search string, the string that you're searching for, and then a path to the file. So that's TLDR with grep. Of course, you can use TLDR with all sorts of other commands. TLDR find will uh, give you uh, find, the find command, how to use it in patterns and so on. Of course, we can basically put any command in there, um, like man, for example, um, and find very quick common usages of that command. Just a note that if you're finding uh, commands that aren't covered, perhaps you know, pulling back empty information, or you can think of more uh, examples of certain commands that aren't included in the list, you can of course contribute to this project. Again, there'll be a link in the description down below to the actual TLDR pages project that all of these clients sort of call to. And it's important to know that this TLDR project is just one of many of these sort of like simplify commands for me or sort of give me an example of tutorials on commands kind of project. And there's a link in the bottom of that um, TLDR pages project to a couple of the others. So hopefully that's highlighted to you the power of this sort of TLDR pages project. And of course the, the, the client that you use to query the project pages. This TLDR program is incredibly powerful to show you really, really quickly common sort of well-known usages of the command in question with a description on what that line of code, what that command is doing. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback about anything that was covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to learn more things if I've sort of missed very crucial parts. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about when I release new videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, then hello. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> But I don't see it. I don't see it. I can't see it. What the f is that? Sunlight.